and uh, we are going to be here for the next two hours. It is, of course, Sunday, the 12th day of February 2012. And yes, I'll get into Whitney Houston dead, uh, and it looks like it's from prescription drugs. And we'll go over some of the numbers. Uh, prescription drugs, of course, kill a lot more people than illegal drugs do. There's different numbers out there, but it, it dwarfs them by more than 10 to 1 conservatively. Prescription drugs are one of the most dangerous things out there, and not just the ones that supposedly get you high, like opiates and uh, some of the speed drugs out there like Adderall and Ritalin. No, it's just regular prescription drug interactions and even over-the-counter prescription drug interactions that we are talking about. And so we're going to be breaking all of that down today. Uh, also, if you've wondered why they fired people like Glenn Beck at Fox News and why they have gotten rid of Freedom Watch uh, and why you see people like uh, the chipmunk um, who's got a weekend show coming out and endorsing Obama and saying he's a Christian and a man of the Lord uh, and that Obama's a great guy, it's because Rupert Murdoch is clearly being blackmailed by the criminal, gun-running, drug-dealing, money-laundering Justice Department. Uh, and there have now been a bunch more arrests made in England, and there's open talk of Rupert Murdoch being arrested, his son being arrested, who runs uh, News Corp over in the U.K., and a lot more. Of course, Mike Huckabee, I call him the chipmunk. Um, I guess that's kind of my nickname for him. Kind of like my nickname for Janet Napolitano is uh, Mr. Napolitano or Janet Dung Beetle Napolitano. So I shouldn't just address her as the Dung Beetle. Some people won't know what I'm talking about. The fake conservative chipmunk there to pacify libertarians and conservatives and Christians. Uh, Huckabee, of course, is saying how great Obama is. And you're going to see a lot more of that. You're going to hear a lot more of that because it's, it, it's all a mutual blackmail society. And yeah, News Corp is basically a private intelligence gathering operation. Always has been. Uh, and now British Arrest 8, an inquiry about Murdoch tabloid uh, paying off police, which is a standard procedure for dirt and uh, wiretaps and things. Who do you think puts wiretaps on your house for the tabloids? The uh, Chinese jet pilot from the moon or, or the Keebler elves? Uh, continuing here, a Sun journalist arrested as bribe probe widens. Rupert Murdoch's own Wall Street Journal reports, and now Murdoch's on a plane over there right now. News Corp faces renewed threat of prosecution in U.S. following Sun threats. And so that's why Fox News didn't cover in Fast and Furious and all that white Peruvian flake the Justice Department's been caught shipping in. You know, that's in the federal courts. They've declared national security. That's all hiding in plain view. Chicago Tribune, El Paso Times, other papers have reported it. Murder for hire, eight federal agencies bringing drugs in, shipping guns all over the U.S., not just to Mexico, but also Honduras. So it's, it's just different branches of mafia uh, fighting with each other. Uh, we've got all of that coming up for you today as well. And we have an amazing guest on Agenda 21 that I'll tell you about after this quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. All right. Every broadcast is important. The weekday show from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. The Sunday transmission from 4 to 6 Central. They're all important. But I had read some of this lady's articles over the years and found them to be very spot on with a full spectrum understanding of how the global corporations have set up the United Nations to bring in a global fascist dictatorship. And they pose as if they're liberal and trendy. Uh, conservatives act like they're against the UN and are always saying, get us out of the UN. But it was actually the Pentagon, it was actually the US government that set up the United Nations in 1945. So it's special corporate interests that have already taken over America and are taking over the world. They've set up the UN to be that new global government. 
And Ban Ki-moon, the head of the U.N., of course, a week ago, was all over the news, called for global government and a global tax and a global court and a global army. It's already all in place. Ruth Bader Ginsburg and four other justices in one week all made announcements. She's a former justice, but four current justices all came out and said, get rid of the Constitution. The New York Times came out and badmouthed it and said, get rid of it. Time Magazine, Newsweek, USA Today, CNN, ABC News, all in the last two weeks said, ditch it. I mean, I was walking by newsstands and just saw it all over the place. When I was at Barnes & Noble a week ago, went home, search engine, you know, dump the Constitution, get rid of the Constitution, and there were hundreds of articles. That was the globalist PR release. You can see, the, you know, they're paid talking heads. You can see the talking points. And it's come out, there are major talking points. They got talking points that returning veterans are going to start staging terror attacks and that returning veterans are the main enemy. I told you that back when it was secret and we got documents from FBI, federal marshals, and state police across the country three years ago. Government said, well, that's internal. You shouldn't have it, but admitted it was real. Now they're doing the rollout that domestic groups are going to stage terror attacks. That means they're getting ready to pull the trigger and carry out the staged events to be blamed on us. Again, the PR rollout is everything you need to know. In the PR rollout, that's always targeting dumbed down, unconscious people that buy whatever they're told. If you're awake, it's ridiculous. It's like riding on the wall. It's like a bullhorn siren. Uh, it's like uh, completely crystal clear for someone who's even half awake. But remember, they're targeting 60 to 70 percent of the public that's still in a dreamlike state. Just believing whatever they're told, thinking the government loves them and wants to kiss them on the head at night. Who don't know the government's been hijacked by a kleptocracy. Side issue. The point is, is that Rosa Corey is going to be joining us uh, coming up. She's executive director of the Post Sustainability Institute. She's a forensic commercial real estate appraiser specializing in eminent domain. And that's how in the last decade she discovered it's all UN Agenda 21. Austin, Texas openly admits they're under Agenda 21. They're openly putting up little UN signs at the hike and bike trail entrances now. I didn't even know this. I, uh, I hadn't been to a hike and bike trail in a couple of years because I always go to, you know, just the side of the highway at, at, and, and enter hike and bike trails wherever I feel like it. But I actually went to one a few months ago and used a regular entrance, and there were all these UN group signs up basically stating it's their territory. Uh, they've got UN biospheres, they're under the new system, going to be tearing up existing roads, shutting off uh, the, 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 the highway exits uh, to rural areas. It's already begun. Uh, the NAFTA superhighways, the Trans-Texas Corridor, eminent domain. It is a total takeover of our society. Ties in to the North American Union. It's in all the uh, Security Prosperity Partnership documents. Uh, the New York Times of course, uh, came out uh, demonizing people uh, earlier in the week who talk about Agenda 21, and they admit that, oh, my gosh, the public's waking up to the U.N. Agenda 21, but they're conspiracy theorists because they don't want the U.N. system running their local towns and cities. They don't deny it's taking over. They just say, you're a conspiracy theorist for not liking the U.N. taking over your local government through regionalism. And it's designed to shut down the family farms, drive everybody into the cities. Uh, it's official U.N. maps that have been out for more than uh, 15 years that show more than half the United States uh, off limits uh, to human activity. We're going to be breaking all of that down today in the second hour with our guests. In fact, she joins us uh, after the 45 uh, break when we come back at 45 after uh, she's going to be joining us because I read some of her work and, and knew that she was spot on. She's written uh, a, a book, uh, Behind the Green Mask. The whole fake green movement's about land grabbing, power grabbing, nothing to do with sensible environmental uh, you know, laws and things. It, it's, it's all a neo-feudalistic excuse for centralized mega corporations that control governments uh, to take control of our society. And... 
when you read the New York Times article, again, they don't deny it's happening. They just say, oh, my gosh, these people are starting to fight us at the local level and turn this back. It's terrible. I mean, the U.N.'s great, and this is for the earth. But hearing her on the radio, see, I'd, I'd read some of her articles, and, and but, but hearing her on the radio uh, the other day, I heard her on a local Austin station. I was driving home and, and listened to her for about 30 minutes, and then I sat there in the parking lot uh, you know, at my house, even though I wanted to go in and see my family, for about 30 minutes listening to her, just riveted, because I'd never heard anyone tie it all together. I'd separately done all the research. I knew everything she was saying was true and accurate, but I'd never heard anybody really put it all together, just how hellish this is, this covert, creeping takeover through the zoning boards, the state zoning boards, the highway departments, seizing the entire infrastructure. And then here I live in Austin, uh, the worst city east of California. California has fully fallen to this. Total feudalism, 20 plus percent yearly carbon taxes, uh, home inspections. They're saying no future single family dwellings. Germany now has passed this as law. I'm not kidding. Look it up. Der Spiegel says how great it is. Uh, carbon taxes, carbon rationing. The only city to totally be implementing this at a more disgusting level is Austin. And they just come in and openly get in everyone's face and say, under Agenda 21, and there it is from the United Nations website. You just type in Agenda21UN.org, and you'll be on their site as they admit global government, global tax. But then separately, they have the ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, and others coming out and saying, we're kooks, we're crazy, we're nuts, it doesn't exist. Understand that. It's all happening, world government being announced, run by six mega banks that created 1,500 plus trillion in fraudulent paper, bought up the world through fraud. Now they're imploding it to consolidate control and buy up everything on pennies of the dollar and having us bail out their system with hundreds of trillions of dollars to prop it up while lecturing us that we've got to have our taxes raised and our standard of living dropped to pay off our debts. All planned, all official. And they have all these traitorous organizations here in the United States that pose as, as the arbiters of all information, calling those of us that read the official UN plans and see it being implemented, we are the enemy. And part of UNESCO and the UN program is the federalization of police worldwide. Because once they're under federal control, they can be internationalized. And they have all the major police departments doing joint training with foreign police departments and being able to go and arrest people in Japan. And then Japanese police can come to Austin and arrest people here. So we're going to have her on uh, coming up. We got big Ron Paul news first, then news on, of course, Whitney Houston uh, dead from prescription drugs, much more deadly than even illegal drugs. Uh, we've got Rupert Murdoch may face criminal charges. Uh, we've got just a massive blitz of news straight ahead. Our websites are infowars.com. We're streaming video at prisonplanet.tv.